The story now, the mother of a Soweto man killed outside a school yesterday says she has lost another breadwinner. Eugene Chililo took care of the family after his father died. He was shot outside Faranani Primary School in Proteak Lane trying to stop a hijacking. Counting Education MEC Matome Chilwane visited the school a bit earlier. Our senior reporter Avu Mdila was there. He's back now in studio and joins us with the latest. Good afternoon, Avu. What a very tragic story. What exactly do we know about this incident now? It's a very tragic story, Mfundo, and that's, of course, left the family of Eugene Chilolo very uh, devastated. It's a 34-year-old mm. gentleman that went to fetch his 7-year-old son at school, and we do understand that um, while he was inside his car with his son in pre present in the car, this is when this incident happened. There, there was an attempt to hijack an Avanza, and um, he tried to uh, intervene, and that's where he lost his life. It is believed, in fact, by the family that it's people that he knew, hence they shot him so that he couldn't be um, a witness. In fact, I want you to take a listen to the family spokesperson, who also happens to be the cousin of Eugene Chilolo, just detailing how the type of person that he was, but only also how they found out as a family. My cousin was a very quiet person, shy person. He's not a kind of a person who would always cause fight out there. I'm so shocked to hear what happens to him. But honestly, honestly, I never expected this. He's a very kind person. The person who explained to us it's his son because the whole incident happened while his son was watching. The son said, apparently there were four guys who were hijacking a, second, a certain lady, and then they pulled the son out, out of the car. And he was with other kids, they pulled them out of the car and they tried to pull Eugene out of the car. They said he should get out and he couldn't, he didn't want to get out of the car. So they ended up shooting him. So they suggested that the idea behind it's like probably Eugene knows, knows those guys. So they were scared that Eugene is going to be a witness. So that is why they decided to kill him. He's so traumatized. You can imagine a seven-year-old son. Mm. He's so traumatized. Mm. He's so shattered. He's so broken. He's, he's a mess. My heart bleeds for this family, but more so for the young boy. I don't think he'll ever be able to forget this incident that happened and, and how his father lost his life. But is this an isolated incident in this area, particularly around Faranani School? Well, if you ask the councillor of 134 in Protea Glen, he'll tell you that crime is rampant in and around the area. He'll tell you that on Saturday they found a dead body. Uh, yesterday this incident happened today they found another dead body hmm. but if you ask the scholar transport drivers they'll tell you that this is a deliberate attack on the Avanza drivers in fact I got to speak to one of them Ivy Koza who just as this happened they took this particular Avanza they then turned to her Avanza she had to run away saying that uh, she was almost like a Michael Schumacher running away with these gun-wielding perpetrators hmm. holding their guns out and trying um, to shoot her as she was running away with learners inside the car. In fact, I want you to take a listen to Ivy Koza as she details what happened. Nearly 25 to 2. 2, 25 to 2. Then I feel more. I feel that lady was born. But I'm going to go on. And I'm going to advance her little. I feel that I'm going Immediately, Hakebu, Wakifishamoko, and Goliaka was somewhere more mobile. Then Kaku sound just to your Haker Kishaba Abutola Wawa. How I can come when I came Kenya Mokolo in then Kikola Mina Koka Rivers. Haki Rivers, Akabono, Akir Kimshabi, the Onamantic Rivers. Kababono Bakumbila Bongani, and then Bongani Kena, Kula Otamanka Kabanani. Wo Awa Avanza by Hajikil Moban. Oba give Ukiva Padi key. Then I keep karki kama taka mataka mkia bonor jono kolo isi elmo one eight. Ha elmo one eight bato kama faster baba tau eight ang baba tau two nya. So no na liko lo yama traffic hawa seki tuwa proja sila e e anga agua ya sila. Then neki no bulel faster just se bato unko na li hijacking and na kaya bali. So nte elmo guys yo ho bed mona ho bed. I don't want to lie. Hare se ifi. So, Avia, from what I'm gathering from what this lady is saying, there clearly now is a syndicate that is looking for avances because I take it that they're good for transporting, whether it be for scholar transport or any other form of mode of transport, particularly in Soweto and the surrounds. Most of the people would use an avanza. Is that it? 
That's certainly the case. You've hit the nail right on the head. It's what she's saying. In fact, she's saying it's now even public transport, your taxis in your Alexandra, your Tembisa. She fears for her own, own life, saying that she doesn't sleep at night, but she has to put food on the table. Mm. Hence, she continues. Today, she was out there continuing. A day after she herself um, was chased by the very perpetrators that took a, the life of Eugene Tishilolo. So you can imagine the traumatic experience, but she has to continue and, in fact, explain to the parents as well because she said she had to account the learners that were in her car um, in that chase as these perpetrators were mm. trying to uh, chase their vans uh, went to, to their homes and told their parents that our oh, Andu Rahadi mm. was a Michael Schumacher, for example. So she, she now had to account that I was being chased by people that want to take the car. But then now for parents, it means they'll remove their children from events as going forward and that unfortunately means she loses bread on the table. It's honestly unfortunate, but how's the family doing, honestly? You can imagine how devastating this ordeal is for the family. In fact, we went to the family of Eugene Tishilolo, and um, we couldn't even speak to the wife, a 34-year-old wife um, who was in tears, sobbing throughout. But we got to speak to the mother, who detailed how this is yet another tragedy, and this was her only son. And was the breadwinner given that the father had passed away um, another sad part of all of this is that just y uh, yesterday um, the cousin was telling me that um, the aunt's husband passed away so she was told about this on her way to the mortuary to go view the body My of goodness. this uh, husband and then got the information about this tragic incident in fact I want you to take a listen to Eugene's mother and how that interaction was <laughs> Very heartbreaking, I mean, f to listen to her saying that her son was not a person who fought with anybody. He honestly was a hero. Very, very, very sad story. Aviwe, thank you very much for that update. That's senior reporter Aviwe Mdila. To this